Okay, this is part three of the word that the Lord gave me. So I'll just continue on um, straight away. I never called you to take a back seat, says the Lord. But many of you have taken a back seat. Many of you have submitted. Many of you have sat down and relinquished your power and authority in me. The Lord says, stand up, rise up. This is not the time to sit down. This is the time to set yourself as flint against the evil one and use the weapons of your warfare. You were, you were always called to a battlefield, says the Lord. Perhaps you did not become aware of it till now, but I am telling you now, this is a battlefield. When you became a Christian, you came to a battlefield. Rise up, rise up, stop sitting down. This is not your position. Stop relinquishing your power and authority. This is not your position. Take up the weapons of your warfare and fight, says the Lord. Take up your weapons. If you do not fight, the enemy shall defeat you. If you do not fight, the enemy shall wound you. If you do not fight, the enemy will attack you. Stand up and fight for yourself and fight for your family and fight for your neighbours and fight for your community and fight for your nation. Stand up and fight. You shall see victory. You shall see victories coming, says the Lord. Don't be alarmed at events that are happening around you. This is my end time. This is the season of my end time harvest. I prepare the season for my end time harvest. Stand up and fight. Victory is yours. Victory is only found in me, says the Lord. <clears throat> a crime against humanity. This shall be called. Okay, so the message is changing again. <clears throat> okay. Um, fall guy, Fauci, fall guy. Oh, yes. So what the Lord is saying is um, Fauci is going to be the fall guy. Okay, I had a, another message about that in the previous video. So, oh yes, Crimea was bad, but this one is a greater crime. Yes, Vietnam was a crime, but this one is so much worse. These countries were used with crimes, but who has seen a crime like this one, a crime against humanity, a crime against the innocent ones, against children? Don't you know my enemy always targets the innocent ones? If you had been aware, you would have fought him. If you were aware, you would fight him. He always goes for the seed, for the innocent. Know this about my adversary, says the Lord. There will be weeping. There will be weeping throughout the earth. There will be weeping when the true realization of what has happened has happened. When just people were taken down. When innocent people were taken down. When righteous people were taken down in the midst of a holocaust. There will be weeping. Close the gates against the evil one. Close your gates against the evil one. He clothes himself in mystery. He shrouds himself so that he cannot be seen. But you know he is there. You know he exists. Don't be ignorant of his devices. His devices against humanity. Be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. An evil tyrant is he, making evil plans in dark places in the earth, in the dungeons in the earth. He has secret targets. He has aliens that do his bidding. <clears throat> he has recipes that he uses. He targets humanity. Humanity is his target for all his connivings and his plans. He works in secret dungeons in hell and introduces his works on the earth. He forfeits. He does fraudulent things. He forges notes. He money launders. He steals money out of the system. He utilizes money for evil purposes. He is always trying to devalue money and derail it and that which God has given for transactions. He tries to steal it, forfeit it and misuse it and direct it towards evil projects. So that is the main bulk of the message and the end of this, I just say, I want to worship God because of his wonderful presence and joy and hope that rises up in me. 
because in this season it's been very oppressive and difficult you know and um, with what's happening and i you know i was just really giving credit to the lord that he is the one that gives us life gives us hope and gives us joy in the midst of all this difficulty you know <clears throat> And I want to give you some reference scriptures. Um, have a read of Isaiah chapter 43 and 44, because I think there's a lot contained in those two chapters in reference to the word that I've given. So um, that is the word I've given. It was a long one. Um, most of the words that I get from the Lord are prophetic. So this may have more relevance in the future. You know what I've when I look back at some of my videos, they're more relevant now than they were when I received the word. Okay, so um, you know, so that's that's the case with a lot of my words. Actually, they become more relevant in the future. <laughs> okay, just to say that. <clears throat> God bless you all. Thanks for tuning in. Le do leave any comments or just say hi or or whatever. And um, thank you for all your encouragements and your comments and letters that you write to me um i really appreciate it all and um, god bless you and just stay blessed and stay strong in the lord amen